Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So I am back with a second quarterly update of my planner and journal system. So let us begin. I think this is a very important time because uh, this is roughly when some planner companies have released new planners for next year and this brings about a change in everyone's systems. Some tend to drop their current planners and you know choose the new planners because some have 18 month planners, undated planners and they see more attractive at this point of time. So if that is the case for you, I would love to hear about what made you shift or think of shifting into a new planner or if you've already made your final decisions about next year's uh, planner choices uh, or if you're still sticking to your same old planner like I seem to be doing now at least for this one. So let us begin. Now this is my Hobonichi cousin and this is my main planner. So my Hobonichi cousin is something that I've not used very regularly in the past few months in the sense that I've not been very consistent with it. This includes everything except for work. So it is a planning, uh, it is a planner as well as a memory keeper for me. I journal in this and you can see a lot more detailed information about how I use this planner through my planner flip through videos. Uh, so please go and check that out as well if you're interested in that. But what I can tell you about this one is that I have not really been very consistent with it in the sense that I don't really use it on uh, use it on a daily basis for during the past days. But what I found is that when I come back and use it, I love it and I enjoy using it and I have come back to it. That is the main point. I don't see myself abandoning this planner, at least not this year. I can see myself continuing with this and even storing this plan, storing this planner for later. So I love my Hobonichi cousin. Yay Hobonichi cousin. Let's go with that. Okay. So yeah, that's about it for this one. Let's go quickly into my next one, uh, which is, which is interestingly again a Hobonichi cousin. Now, if you've seen my pl previous planner update video, some of you might be aware that uh, I love EC undated focused planners for work. Uh, but this year I went with a Hobonichi cousin and I would just like to go through that quickly so that you know I can help you understand I, why I prefer one planner over the other or what are the pros and cons of using each of these planners for work. So firstly, the EC Undated Focused works great for people who would like to choose a random month for beginning their work planner. I do not ever start my work planner in Jan. I tend to shift depending on the year. For example, this year I started a new one in June. I think last year I had one that began in April. So the EC Planner worked in the sense that it was undated. I could choose when I wanted to start it and date it accordingly. It doesn't take much time. I don't complicate my work planners with stickers or any other such things. Just one pen that works for me. If I want to, I add stickers if I have the time for it. As of otherwise, my work planner is rather quite minimal as such. Now, another benefit which may seem um, superfluous to many is that I love the EC planner covers. Uh, to be specific, the focus line. Okay, the focus line is very sophisticated looking and it is simple and I like that it looks that way for work for some reason. It's not about others opinions. For me, it is the fact that when I look at my planner, I feel a lot more calm and I don't like my work planner to look very loud or bright or colorful. I like it to be looking simple, but at the same time, you know, a little more classy than what I have uh, you know in mind otherwise so in mind in terms of planners so easy used to be great in those terms because I, I preferred that design okay the focus line for work uh, now what happened this year is that I had a few extra Hobonichis lying around because of my YouTube review videos and I just did not want to spend my money on and buying another planner when I could just use the ones that I currently have that is the only reason that I shifted to a Hobonichi cousin, not because I wanted to move away from EC, just to be clear. So since I'm there in the Hobonichi cousin now, I'd just like to speak a few things about it. Firstly, this is an April start. 
I use it in a Hobonichi cover that I have. This is the only A5 Hobonichi cover that I have. And yeah, this cover, I like it. Do I love it for work? Not really because this is not something that I like for work. Like I said, I like to, to be extremely minimal. Maybe if it was a plain black cover, it would have been more better or maybe something with stripes. But I just don't like this a lot. I am fine with it. I don't mind carrying it to work. Like I said, the designs don't bother me in the terms that I'm not bothered with if there is a bird or if it's too colorful. I will still carry it to work. That is fine. But I prefer to see simpler designs on my cover okay, at work. I don't like to be distracted by other bright loud designs. But anyway, coming to more important matters. Uh, this planner, in this planner, I use the Hobonichi pen uh, simply because uh, it has uh, three colors which help me to color code in the planner and survive with just one pen. I don't like to carry a lot of things, planning items around for work. I prefer to make it easy and simple with a minimal setup and this pen makes it easy for me. Now earlier I used to always use just the black color and the other ink used to always remain and this year I am planning more effectively. I have an equal use for all three colors which makes it so that I complete using a pen more or less roughly at the same time. So this pen has been great for me. I can't show you much of a clip through but uh, the basics of how I use it is that the monthlies are for events, meetings uh, that come up that month. So a lot of free planning going on there and the weeklies are what I hate. I don't use it. Okay. Uh, in the sense that currently, yes, I did use it in the month of June, but the only reason I used it is for the sake of using it since I have the weekly spread. I don't need it. Okay, I really don't need it, need the weekly spreads at all. I will come back to that point later. Uh, the dailies are another favorite of mine. Uh, that is where my to do's come. Now, I, I really can't show you a use spread, so what I will just go through is how I use it. So I tend to divide the daily into four sections. Okay, it does not take much time. I just quickly, since the grid is already there, I just do it quickly with a pen. I don't even use a ruler uh, and just draw some dotted lines over it. And what it means for me is that um, four sections have a different purpose. Uh, it really does not take time, much time for me to plan for work. I often tend to plan on the previous day. Uh, just in the last few minutes before I leave, I just set it up for the next day and that's it. So in each section, I divide my to-dos and that works great for me because it's easy for me to find out what, which section has a lot of to-dos left. See, I, I think I'm explaining it quite badly, but it just works out for me. So the dailies are a great, great place, place for me. Now, for those who might be wondering, what do I do with days like Sundays where there is no work. Uh, it's pretty simple. Sundays are used for meeting notes. So I know that some people have multiple meetings in a day. That is not the case for me. I tend to have like a meeting per week. Of course, sometimes more than one meeting per week, but generally around a meeting per week. So I use Sundays for meeting notes since I can't use my daily spreads for that. They have my daily to do's there. So that is what I do with that. Then we have a few notes pages at the back, which I've already used, so I will not share that. What happens with the notes pages is that um, there are only four, I think there are only four notes pages in the April Start Cousin, which is too less. Okay, they, they are too less for me, and I've already used the four that are there. And what I did instead this year is that since I started using this planner in June, this is an April start, but I started it in June. I have two months of daily spreads and weekly spreads quite blank. So I ended up using especially the daily spreads that is of April and May as my notes pages. So they are working as a sort of collection, I would say. They are not exactly notes as in random notes. They are things that I need to come back to every month and refer to so they are quite prominently uh, useful for me. So yes, those spreads are notes pages and uh, similarly the weeklies are also the same. April and May are months that I did not use. 
So I'm using again the ML notes pages. Uh, so I sometimes set up timetables over there uh, for work in the sense that the columns are already there in the weekly spreads. I just make them into rows and create sort of a timetable for me. Uh, I know there is a timetable spread at the back of the Hobonichi, but I've already used that and made a mess of it. So yes, that is that. Now coming to other things in my Hobonichi cousin or my work planner. Um, I have this cover which I carry to work. Uh, you can use a cover on cover on it in case you don't want the cover to be messed up. Um, come, what I have in the cover is frankly only these. There are a few notes pages from the EC agenda that are already punched. Uh, they were left over. I did not use them. So what I did is I just kept a few of these uh, to be exact five of these in the back pocket and how I use it is I jot down random things over here so suddenly if someone comes and tells me something I just note it down over here instead of putting it down in my planner because I don't like to do that uh, like I spoke to you before I have a specific purpose for each section or each spread in my planner and I don't like to write down random things there so instead I quickly jot it down over here sometimes I don't even take the entire page out I just quickly jot down names numbers or whatever comes up over here and then as required I transfer into my planner later so I've just kept I think I had five of them I have already used two of those pages up from this section which means that I'm actually using them in the sense that I initially thought I might not ever end up using them but I'm actually using them quite well so I've used up two from this set I will add up add more pages as required each month if needed so that is the only use I have for the pockets at times I might uh, keep additional pages from work uh, just fold them up and put it into the different pockets as required uh, and then I remove them so there are currently no none of those pages in here but that's about it and as far as bookmarks is concerned there are two of them already as you know with the Hobonichi cover but I tend to use uh, these uh, bookmarks from Midori uh, they are quite minimal simple and they are functional uh, so that works out for me as well so this is my main work planner now coming to another one which might be shocking for many that I have multiple planners for work uh, people tend to have multiple planners for a number of things shockingly I have multiple planners for work this is my second work planner this is a Hobonichi Weeks this is the Saul Later cover I love this cover when it was released and I'm glad I got it now this planner is not something that will continue later on in the sense that I am temporarily helping out at work in a different department just until they find someone else qualified enough to do that job. Uh, so I might be there doing this work for the entire year but as of now since they do not have anyone I will be doing this and yeah this works great for me because it is quite lightweight I don't like clubbing this category into my main work planner that is why it is separate over here and it has actually been working quite well for me more than I expected it to work but would I recommend this for work uh, not really simply because of course it depends from person to person uh, this is too small for me for my main work category so if I I could not use this as my main work planner and the, I'm just using it temporarily for this year like I said maybe it will help some people who don't have much to write in their work planner who might do things uh, more online or you know on their laptops or mobiles I cannot do that I prefer to do it over here on paper and I need a larger planner than this for work now the pros a lot of pros clearly it's easy to carry around it is you have the thin Tomoe river paper which means you have a note, lot of notes pages you can of course go for the mega also if you want uh, I use the same two ribbon bookmarks that are there in here for uh, you know separating the sections and also the same uh, Midori clips that I showed earlier I have a few of them in this planner as well which work great for additional uh, tabs as such I don't use any tabs on my planner I tend to be too lazy about them I used to earlier but I didn't use any on my work planners this year and this band is something that I have from Erin Condren um, 
I could probably buy something better working from Hobonichi or from some other site. Uh, again, I'm trying to use up things that I have. I have a lot of these. I think I have six of these bands. Uh, they come in a set of three, so I have two sets. So there are six of them and I use them since I have it. What I like about it is the fact that it is not tight, that the book gets folded at the sides. Okay, It is like a perfect fit. It is not loose as well, so it does not come off. But what I don't like about this is the fact that I can't really use this pen loop. Okay, This is the same pen that I use in this planner. So what I do is I always keep one pen in each planner. There is one in the other one, in the pen loops in the other Hobonichi, one over here. But this one has not been working out simply because this pen is too big for the pen loop. And when I try to insert it from here, it comes off. So it does not work both ways. So right now I don't use any pen in that plan. Of course, I can go for a smaller pen. It might work out. But I like using the oh, Hobonichi pens in this one. So yeah, that is about this for my work planner, which you might not see later on. Uh, this as well is an April start. Now coming to other things, how this book is surviving at work without any cover on cover. Uh, I would say okay in the sense that, uh, see I am very careless with my work planners because I have a huge tote bag. I just dump everything in my bag along with whatever other things I have in my bag, bottles, lunchbox or whatever is there. So I'm not extremely careful with the planners as such. So you can I think pretty clearly see the mess at the back. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I take a wet cloth and try to wipe it out, it will go away, but I've not even done that. So I could just show it to you as it is, okay? Without a cover, it is likely to get uh, quite messy as such, okay? Just to be clear, this is how it looks, okay? So if you are someone who wants to keep it more neater, maybe uh, you could go with a cover on cover. Many people tend to use leather covers, clear covers. Of course, if your workplace is not as messy as mine is, you don't even have to bother with such things. It's not a big issue. Uh, but as of otherwise, maybe you could be more careful if you plan to store such books for later. I do not, so I don't really care how much messy it turns out to be because I use it for the current year and I'm done with it. That's about it. So those were my work planners, which I spoke a lot about. And now let's move on to the next thing, uh, to a planner that I have abandoned. Okay. This was meant to be my church planner and journal for this year. Uh, let me tell you, I am leaving it because it did not work out for me. I think I, I, I really attempted to use it again and again. I tried to pick it up, but the only month I probably actually used it is Jan. And after that, I tried to pick it up. It didn't work out for me. This is the English planner from Hobonichi. I don't know what went wrong. I'm st still trying to figure it out because I use I have used church journals before and I've completely used them throughout the year. Uh, but this year was a disaster in terms of this church planner and journal. So I am giving up on this. As far as the planner component of this is concerned, it comes in my main Hobonichi cousin, the first planner that I showed. So it's not a complete loss in those terms, but no church journaling is happening around here. Just to be clear, it is different from faith journaling. Church journaling is specifically about uh, the sermons that are given in church and the notes that I take from that. And planner because I am involved in a committee, so I need to know about events, dates and such and note them down as well. Now, yes, this is getting dropped. So I just wanted to mention that, see, I do not know what you do with planners. I would love to know what you do with planners when you decide to shift to a new planner. I am not shifting to a new planner. I'm just abandoning, abandoning the idea completely for this year. I will probably come back to it next year, maybe with uh, the previous one that I used so that maybe it's the planner is the problem. I'm not sure or it could be just me. Um, but. I will be keeping these. I always keep, uh, you know, half used ones for later purposes like commonplace books or just a notebook for any sort of jotting down notes as a notepad. Okay, I never throw them out unless I completely use them. So this will stay, of course, in terms that I will use it for later, not as a planner, but in some or the other manner. Now coming to the next thing. Okay, the next thing that I have over here which is this is my social media planner okay now, my 
is Social Media Planner, which is again a Hobonichi Weeks. I have been loving this cover in the sense that it is very functional. Okay, it's not about being just pretty. It can take a lot of rough use. So if that is how you use your Hobonichi Weeks, maybe you can go with this type of cover. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, probably the cheapest run one from the Hobonichi covers that are available on the site. Now, going into this planner, it is quite a rough use planner for me. So what I do is I use the monthlies for just, uh, you know, spacing out all my YouTube uh, video ideas as well as Instagram posts. And as far as the weekly spreads are concerned, they are used for uh, scripting them. If I do it, I don't always script my videos. It is very rare. Uh, but generally I do it if I have reviews of products that have just come by or I have used for a certain point of time and that is really probably when I script them as such as of otherwise it is on the spot. Now coming to this planner, yes I will definitely continue using it this year because I tend to even carry it to work at times if I have time to you know plan out something over there with regards to social media. So this is quite a wonderful one but will I buy it for next year? I am doubtful of it because I feel that I didn't really need the weekly spreads. I could work better with a planner like a day free. Uh, where I have monthly spreads and then some notes pages. That's all I need. So I'm, I'm considering shifting into a day free or an Erin Condren, you know, those petit planners with just the monthly spreads and a notes page in between. Uh, and that is what I'm considering as of now, but there is a lot of time for it. So uh, we will see, but I will most likely not come back to this, even though I have to say I like the size of this planner. Uh, but I want a pre planned monthly spread along with some blank pages you know just for writing down notes so that is this planner now let's move ahead to the next thing the next thing that i have is not really a planner as such it is uh, this notebook from hobonichi uh -huh, it's a mess okay this is like a commonplace notebook for me so this was a used notebook from last year i believe and what i did is i just removed the used pages and um, I then used the sort of tabs for the 12 months. I have given about, I, I don't remember the exact number, so assume I have given about, you know, 5 to 8 pages for each month. Uh, and what I'm doing is, uh, using this is, it's not exactly a commonplace notebook I would say, but this is mainly for me to write down shopping lists, okay. It is mainly for shopping lists and for random things of course. So what I do is currently I'm in the month of June. I go to June. I have created a shopping list. Now shopping list could be from different categories. For example, I sometimes write it based on the place that I'm getting buying something from. So if I'm buying from the website YesStyle, I will title it as YesStyle and then write down the list of items that I require from there. What happens often is that I don't necessarily buy the entire list. I either lose interest in it or I, for some reason, I decide not to buy it. Maybe I don't want to spend that much money on that product that month. Um, whichever I buy, I tick off. And whichever I decide to cancel completely, I just cancel the entire thing. There are some which are forwarded to the next month because I might consider buying it next month. Maybe I'm in a better money situation or I actually really need it, so I decide to buy it. So this is more for shopping list rather than anything else. But I like doing this simply because uh, I tend to forget, okay? When it comes that there is suddenly a wonderful sale going on, I really don't remember what I wanted to buy. And then I just end up buying random things for the sake of buying it. That is something I have stopped now. I go through my list, take out the priority items and that's it. I avoid buying unnecessary things just because there is a sale. So this is actually working quite great for me. Uh, the only thing is that since I've divided it into, you know, months, as in roughly around like eight pages for each month, what happens is that a number of pages end up being unused. So I don't think it's a big deal. I will probably continue using this next year as well. Since I've already tapped it, maybe I will remove the used pages and just keep the next remaining for next year. I'm not really sure. But I like this. It is small, compact. It works great for me. It is just there on my desk or wherever I write it as such. Now the last thing that... 
I have to show you is uh, just this Hobonichi Weeks uh, which is the sneaker weeks and it always comes in the mega. Now this one is something that was not there at the beginning in my planner lineup. I've added it quite later. Uh, it is in fact just a sort of notebook. It's not a planner. It's for language learning. Um, and it's not been working great in the sense that it's not the no book's problem. I have just not been regular with language learning recently. But I will continue with this simply because um, I have when I used it I used it okay properly of course I don't need the monthly spreads I have been starting using it from the weekly spreads as notes and I just used a few of it uh, what I do with this is this is very much rough work for me in the sense that I'm very careless with it I go quickly wherever I am I might be traveling I might be listening to a video and then I just jot down things so this is just for temporary use in the sense that later on I plan to use a proper notebook where I shift down, shift onto that whatever is important from this. So I think I will continue with this and see how this goes ahead. I'm not really sure of this book whether I'm loving it or not but I think it's fine. So I will be keeping this for later. So that's about it as far as my second quarter update is concerned. I'm basically using three weeks as you can see and I also had two Hobonichi cousins. Uh, I feel like I'm at odds with myself in the sense that I used to believe that I am a one planner sort of person, uh, not very much a multiple planner user but apparently I have way too many planners that I can't even keep count of them. Uh, but anyway, it was nice talking to all of you. I would love to know the status of your planning system at this point, which is mid-year. Are you into buying new planners since many planner companies have brought out their new planners? Or are you sticking with your original lineup that you had at the beginning of the year? I would love to hear from you. Please comment down below. Bye.